Hey yo! Whoa! So, I'm doing the midweek check-in. It's not midweek anymore, it's Friday, so really more like the weekend check-in. But this is just like a reading um, to see how the energies have progressed for this past week. I have been on a social media fast, so I have not looked at my YouTube or anything, so I don't know what's going on and I don't remember exactly what I said during the weekly reading. But we're just going to do a reading and see what the energies are looking like. And I guess that this can actually be a weekend reading as well that like forwards the energy towards the weekend and sees what's going on there. Um, yeah. So let's begin. I swear to God. As soon as I want to start doing a reading, suddenly the planes are flying again. It's <laughs> like, what the hell? Anyways, okay. Oh. I've already got a few cards out here. We've got the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Knight of Swords, or the Prince of Swords. Um, Spirit, any more cards for this reading check-in? I've been wanting to do this for actually a few days now, so it's timely. The Ten of Wands. I don't know if we want this up. Let's take the Three of Pentacles. Maybe I'll just take like one or two more. I don't need that many cards, anyways. Um, okay. And the Princess of Wands, and backed by the Princess of Cups. So. Lots of like, it's not immature energy, just lots of um, youthful energy. Lots of youthful energy. Let's see what's going on here. I'm not doing reversals because um, my deck is already kind of scrounged up, so I don't think reversals will count for this one. I saw two, 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 so that could mean something. But let's look at this. So we have the two, the Ten of Cups. I want to say the Two of Cups because I was thinking about two, two, two. So we have the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Prince of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Princess of Wands, or the Page of Wands, and the Princess of Cups, which is also the Page of Cups. Behind that, Eight of Cups. So let's look, let's look, and let's see what's going on. Maybe I'll put this back when I've got more to say. Ah. Okay. So the first thing I want to say is that there's a lot of fast moving and quickly developing energy. I'm not sure that anything has come to fruition yet. Though we have two tens with the ten of cups and the ten of wands, it still doesn't feel like things have fully panned out to the point where we've got something that has manifested it feels more like something is building something is gaining speed something is gaining momentum or attention um and there's a lot of like perseverance like you were kind of flying through the energy working through it make moving your way through it and um kind of waiting to still get to the end point but moving quicker than you were before and with more stamina it feels like your stamina is up your attention is drawn and um, yeah, there's a lot happening here though. It's a bit chaotic. There's a lot of moving pieces, a lot of characters in the works here and um, a lot of different, I think, social investments. Like a lot of people, a lot of different energies are invested in whatever's happening here or it could just be that you're working with a lot of energies. It's more of a community feel, it's a communal feel. Um, but yeah, there's something gaining speed, gaining momentum something quickly coming to into realization but it's not there yet and what's driving it is like a passion um a an investment a stamina um yeah and some type of also perhaps some type of potential union is also driving the ability to stick through this energy despite it you know being a bit of a long road and a bit chaotic and not seeing the end results just yet. 
Okay. What else, Spirit? And that's all just what came out. So a lot of energies just to say that. So there could be a lot going on, but it could not be saying a whole lot. Like there could be a lot of moving pieces and a lot that you are being engaged by, but it could be quite quiet in terms of what you're picking up from it. Like you could just be kind of getting the same message, which is keep going, perseverance, um, you know, ga gaining momentum, gaining speed, or, you know, things passing by quickly. But in terms of like, results or answers or true clarity you know you're not getting the full picture yet despite all of these different things happening or characters or aspects of the situation um okay princess of wands again so page of wands yeah it feels like there could be a lot of excitement to go towards this thing um i wonder if you and your intuition are on the same page because the intuition is a little less quick moving or a little less awakened alive <laughs> in the same way that the um that we the person seems to be so we've got the Princess of Wands, the Prince of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, I mean, the yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, um, the Six of Pentacles, and the Strength card. Uh, an 888 could be a number here. Um, I think part of the thing here is that I think your intuition understands that things are not going to be moving as fast as you're moving. I think that you could be like, you know, a mile a minute because you're excited and you're ready and you're blah, 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 and your passion is like there and you're seeing things and you're noticing things and you're like, let's go. And I think your intuition is understanding that this is going to take a little bit more time than you would like. And so that's on the more chill side. Um, there's certain things I think still need to be balanced out, worked out. There's certain emotions that still need to be balanced out and worked out. And so I'm not sure that things are going to be coming to fruition just yet. Um, and patience might really be needed. Which I know is not really the answer anybody wants to hear. It's not the answer I want to hear, but that is what I am seeing here. You know, a little bit of patience goes a long way. Um, Because you're burning and you're excited and there's this fast moving energy, but you got to make sure that, you know, like where are you moving so quickly towards, you know, when you've got time on your hands, <laughs> even if you don't want it, you got it. Uh, anything else here? The death card. Things could have began quite quickly and now they're slowing their pace. So a lot could have come in in a rush and then now you're at the point where it's like you've got all this information and you've got all these things that you're thinking about or working with, but now things have slowed down. So you're just kind of sitting with it, trying to figure it out, just sitting in the energies, lying in wait. And that could be a little bit difficult, uh, but it does feel like change is coming towards you. It does feel like change is um, on the horizon. We had night, so I don't want to say overnight because that, you know, that's quite an intense remark to make. But um, change does feel like it is on the horizon. It does feel like it's coming towards you. But, you know, it's not exactly on your schedule. So I think what you have to do, especially during the daytime when you're just waiting things out, because during the nighttime at least things move faster because you're sleeping or you're in a more creative state, spiritual state. During the daytime, it might be like a real balance act of trying to find ways to keep yourself busy. And keep your attention. 
priestess. Uh, anything else you want to say, Spirit? I don't like to take cards unless they just come out. Otherwise, I just feel like, what's the point? Um, something could be manifesting in the realm of money. Oh, you have the Three of Cups. So connection, community, friendship, gatherings of some kind. Something could be coming to fill your cup. Uh, some type of friendship, reunion, um, family, gathering, community, energy could be helping you fill that cup of yours while you're waiting for all these other energies to settle. You could find camaraderie, being a part of some type of community environment. I would say that's a good time to also, good way to also kill the time is, you know, going out and getting engaged in whatever's happening in your community, especially because it's summertime. There's a lot of things to do, hopefully where you are as well. It's a good way to fill the energy, fill your cup. There's something around like blending in or like having this thing that makes you all kind of alike or similar and using that energy to your advantage. And there's also something about like an equal gain, like you all receive equally from this type of time together, experience together, replenishment, nurturing or nourishing of each other's cup and needs, soul needs through community, through socialization. So yeah, if you need to go out, I would also say do that. Pens of Pentacles again. Yeah, because something else is taking its time getting to you and it's not it's not in any rush. So while you wait for that, you're gonna need to allow you're gonna need to find other things to keep yourself busy so you don't go crazy. Any new messages, spirit? Something is on its way. I mean, well I would I don't know. There's energy that's just kind of playing in like a, a kid-like realm. You know how kids can just get fixated on something and they can spend hours looking at it or spending time with it. And so you don't really get the opportunity to, um, it's just way too many cards to take. See something to fruition. That could be happening. Um, or sorry, not to see something to fruition, but Something, somebody could be distracted. <laughs> or wherever your thing is that you're waiting for it could be in the hands of someone who's busy doing something else or distracted by something else or is taking their time with something, processing something, you know, and so you're not going to be able to get what you would like as quickly as I'm sure maybe you would want it. Something needs time to develop. Um... It could be that a friendship needs time to develop into something more. And so that is the change that is coming towards you, this development in a friendship or in a relationship, going from something that's more of a childlike and play-like state to something more stable and providing. Um, how much time, though? You know, something might take its time. It also could be that something took a long time to develop. But maybe now this is the change that's happening. Maybe something was in a childlike state for a while, but now it's transitioning over. Four of Cups. It might take a while. Because I think right now you might be like left in an in-between stage where something has moved out of the zone of what it once was. And so you're kind of left with nothing because the other thing hasn't come to fruition yet which leaves you wanting. So this could be a good time to focus on developing new relationships and new connections because of the hole that this thing has left, the gap that this thing has left by entering into a transformation.
so now could be focused on like getting developing new relationships, new friendships, new connections. This is just a weekend check-in, so like, could just be at the weekend. It takes a long time in terms of like other things that are on your mind, you know. But there's opportunities for escape, so use them. Otherwise, you might find yourself a little bit frustrated. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was laughing because it's just an uber dramatic energy, but I get it. Oh, we get it. Um, yeah, I think there's opportunity. <laughs> I think there's opportunities to find fulfillment and nourishment. You're just gonna have to like move away from the energy where you've already like where there's already been a loss. You know, something is done, and I think you're sticking around that area because you're hoping for it to transform very quickly and show up in a new way. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think you're going to have to move to a new area and find that thing in another place or in another space. And so you need to get moving so that you're not around this energy of loss and lack and this energy of like death, you know, or something is falling apart. It's just because that thing has transformed. But, you know, you're sticking around it and all you're seeing is the ending of it all. Um, and not any other type of manifestation. And it, it puts you in an energy of loss and scarcity and lack. So in order to beat that, uh, you need to embrace the energy of the star, which is more dreamy, more hopeful, um, and allows you to nourish yourself and be vulnerable by submerging, your, submer submerging yourself in this dream state, in this ideal, in this world, in this fantasy. Because you are right now kind of in the more fantastical state of things rather than the reality. Like that's where you should go to the more fantastical state of things rather than the reality. Because the reality right now is quite like bleak and unknown and empty. But the fantasy is where the dream lies, which is where your ability to manifest comes from. So you need to go dig into that, you know. With what's been lost, with what's fallen off of the tree and has left the tree now barren, what can you manifest with that? What can you create with that? How can you put your energy towards that and bring something that you desire into fruition? Bring something new. And what wishes and dreams might come to you if you just are open to them? You know, it's about thinking bigger. You gotta think bigger, you gotta dig deeper. And you've got to embody the energy. You've got to embody it rather than just dancing around it or swaying within it. You need to embody it. Embody and embrace and grow bigger than it. Have it not just be this thing that's watching over you, but have you become this thing that is guiding it. 555 five, five energy is major. 555555. Five, five, five. It's all about change in developments and also breaking out of a karmic cycle which is what you could be doing with this at this time there's a lot of healing that can be happening and um you know before something can merge into the sun it has to go to the moon before something can become the lovers it has to go through its independent states of being the fool the magician the high priestess the empress the emperor you know so there's a lot of things that have to take place before something can come together a lot of development that needs to take place and there's this ele there's this energy of like needing to mature and needing to grow up and needing to evolve um, before this energy can fully reach its maximum or reach the point that it needs to get to so you just got to be down for the ride you know and allow yourself to also take the reins a little bit in terms of doing the healing that is needed um, doing the growing up that is needed, the development that is needed to reach a point where this can 
whatever you want to come into fruition where it can survive and where it can sustain happily. You know, you don't want it to be stressed out. You don't want to birth it into an environment that is stressed and stark and scarce. You know, so you want to work on developing that abundance within yourself and that naturalized energy into this environment of abundance within yourself. You want to feel comfortable in this environment so that this energy can feel comfortable within it as well. So there's a lot more development that needs to happen here before things can come together, which I know is annoying, but that's just the reality of the situation. Um, but it will, it will. It's on the way. It's just not there yet. All right. So, you know, just rest. <sighs> Ugh. I'm not the happiest with this energy either, but this is what we have we have to deal with. <sighs> Alas, it is what it is. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you on Monday or Sunday for the next week reading, maybe, if I feel called to do it. Um, and then I'll be back, maybe I'll be back trying to post my shorts on Wednesday, because that's when my fast ends. So, We'll see about that as well. Okay. Bye.